And friends, in other interesting news, we have Vanderbilt University. Now, this school that's located in Tennessee will be covering transgender-related surgeries under its insurance plans. Friends, we've come a long way. Now, note this. This school was founded by a Methodist Episcopal Church. Interesting. And for the first 40 years of this school's existence, it was basically guided by this church body. But in 1914, they severed ties with each other. They broke apart. And now, if you fast forward a few decades from then, this is what the school is now coming to. Offering transgender-related surgeries under its insurance plans. Very interesting. Now, you see what happens when you sever the church, or should I say the word of God, from education. Basically, anything can happen after that. I mean, if, if you want to be a dog or a cat, then you can. Apparently, you have men identifying as dogs in the UK now. If you want to go check that out, you can. <laughs> Very interesting stuff happening in these last days. But anyways, back to the issue here. Medical documentation shows that the operations will be covered just like, quote, any other eligible service. So basically, this will seem like a normal thing. It is a normal thing just covered under their insurance plans. Now, this thing, this proposal to do this was offered by Cynthia Cyrus, vice provost for learning and residential affairs at the school. And basically, they swiftly approved this thing without much debate. They did not really discuss it that much. They just said, all right, let's do it. And they passed it. Uh, so this is what's happening, friends. Now, praise God for certain people. You have Diane Black, a U.S. representative of Tennessee's 6th Congressional District. She actually stood up to this and she said, let's be honest here. This decision is not about the health and well-being of Vanderbilt University students. It is about the political agenda of liberal university administrators. Very interesting, the political agenda. She goes on to say that our institutions of higher learning exist to graduate students who are career ready and are prepared to compete in the global economy, not to play politics by providing insurance coverage of medically unnecessary procedures while raking in federal grants. Now, I am inclined to agree with that statement, especially when it said medically unnecessary procedures because these things are exactly that they are unnecessary when it comes to school and education the school should not be worrying about stuff like this they should be worrying about financial aid to students who need it for their education who want to learn and have their diplomas or their degrees so they can be qualified to work in the real world now, if they want a sex change, that's their personal issue. That's something personal to them that they got to work out. The school does not have to get involved in this. But anyways, that's my opinion. <laughs> what do you guys think? Do you guys think this is, uh, th that this should be covered by the school or is this more personal? Leave comments down below. I would love to hear from you. But friends, this school is not alone. We, you have over 70 colleges and universities across the U.S. currently providing similar services to their students. So this is massive and it's growing. And I will, I will say that this is actually going to increase because of the, you know, the political agenda, the atmosphere of LGBT issues that are just surfacing in the media, just calling for attention. And so, friends, we have to be aware of this. We have to start praying, fasting, you know, having our relationship with God serious because we are literally living in the last days. Sodom and Gomorrah is right around the corner if it's not already here. And so, friends, we have to be prepared. Anyways, guys, like this video, subscribe to this channel if you like it, and we will catch you in the next one. Take care, guys. God bless.